Hi there, thanks so much for watching today's Drawing for Adults class brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we are going to be continuing our Inktober edition for the month of October where we are drawing all things in ink. So for today we are going to, or for this week I should say, we are going to be using India ink and if you don't have India ink you can pick it up at any local art store or um, online. And if you don't have this or you don't wanna buy something new, you can always still just use your regular ink pens or Sharpies or whatever you have at home. But if you do happen to have this or you want to purchase it for um, Inktober, uh, topics this week, then I am going to just walk you through how to use India ink. So we're going to use it in washes, which means different gradients. Now, I always think it's really helpful to just test it out. It's very, it's pure black straight out of the bottle. So you're just going to use a brush, dip your brush into the ink um, and put it on your paper and use some water as well. And and uh, just have a little cup of water nearby and that you'll just kind of, yeah, paint with it basically. Um, so similar to watercolor where you can do the wet on wet technique where you put water down on your paper first and then put your ink down and let it kind of bleed versus a more controlled technique where you take your wet on dry approach where you take wet ink on dry paper. So I think it's really helpful to just go ahead and play with the inks, have a scrap piece of paper that you're using for this to just test it out so that you get a good feel of what that's like to kind of wet your paper first and paint on top of that where you get kind of a almost smoky kind of look versus the more controlled brush strokes. Um, and then once you do that, try practicing a gradient where you go from the pure India ink and you gradually add a little bit more water as you go to make it lighter and lighter. And then you're using not white, not white ink or white paint, but just the white of the paper to make it lighter, okay? So again, you don't have to use that, but you can if you would like. So let's move on to the topics for this week. So today is October 10th, and that's where we're gonna be starting. If you missed the topics from last week, make sure that you look at our last video to view those topics that were inspired by the Ann Arbor Art Center. This week, the theme is going to be inspired by the Ann Arbor District Library. So the one and only Ann Arbor District Library. So the library that we love here. Uh, so I have different themes here. So you can see um, for October 10th, dystopian, October 11th, fairy garden. So again, using your ink. Now you can use your Pigma Micron pens again if you would like, or you can use these ink washes. So the 12th, checkerboard, the 13th books, 14th coffee, 15th game, 16th folktale. So do consider how you might want to use your ink to draw these in creative ways. And you don't have to use them in the ways in which they are associated with the library, like the summer game or the giant checkerboard that's in the downtown district library location. You can do it in the way that you choose, the way that you please. Um, and then don't forget to use the hashtag or tag AADLgram if you post your art on social media so that we can see it and share it. 